this is for the char once again and today's video ay pag-uusapan natin si could, would, and should. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So, magsasimula tayo kay could. Ano ba si could? Si could ay past tense ni can. Okay? Ano ba si can? Ibig sabihin ng can ay kaya. Kaya mo. Kaya sabi nga ng kanta, I can live, I can love, I can reach the heavens above. I can. Kaya ko. Okay? So, let's have an example. I could do split when I was a kid. O, ibig sabihin nun, kaya kong mag-split nung bata pa ako. We can also use could for the possibilities in the future. So, kumbaga, kaya mong gawin sa susunod. Okay, for example, sasabihin ng boyfriend mo na, I could marry you. O, huwag ka mo nang kiligin, bes. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, Kaya nga pakasalan, pero hindi pa niya sinabing pakakasalan ka niya. Okay? So, si could is kaya. Kaya mong gawin. Pero, hindi sinabing gagawin mo na. Okay? Take note. We can also use could for polite expression. Like, like um, you're making a request. Could you please, could you please pass me that pen? Could you please close the door? Could you please give me some water? Ganon. So, nag-uutos nag ka in a polite way. So, gagamitin mo is could. We can also use could in a polite expression. Kumbaga yung you're making a suggestion. Nagsasuggest ka. For example, we will say, You could go to the kitchen and eat whatever you want. So, pwede kang pumunta sa kusina at kumain ka ng kung anong gusto mo. Pwede kang pumunta. You could. Ganon. Okay, next naman is si would. Ano naman si would? Si would is a past tense of will. Will, ibig sabihin ng will is um, willingness. Andun yung willingness mo. Gusto mo siyang gawin. Okay, si could, kaya mo. Pero si will, gusto mong gawin. So, si, will, si would is more higher kaysa kay could. Kaya, pag sinabi na ng boyfriend mo na, I would marry you. Kung ganun, pwede ka nang kiligin. Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, pakakasalan kita. Ganun. Andun yung willingness din na pakakasalan ka. Okay? Pag could, I could marry you. Hindi pa yun. Kasi, there's a possibility na, ay, hindi pa yun. Kasi, kaya ka. Pero, hindi naman sinabi, oo, pakakasalan ka na. Pero, pag sinabi, I would marry you, ibig sabihin nun, pakakasalan ka niya. Okay? We can also use would in an imaginary situation. Um, kung maga gusto mong gawin in the future, pero it's impossible to happen. Kung maga imposible siyang mayayari in the future, pero parang, ano lang, you're, you're just building castle in the air. Na, let's say, for example, if I have a hundred million pesos, I would help the poor people. Oh, kung meron nang sana, kung meron na kung isang daang milyong pesos, titulungan ko yung mga mahihirap. We can also use would in a polite expression. Katulad din siya ni could. It's like you're making a request. Would you please, ganon, would you please hand, would you please give me that bag? Would you please carry my bag? Ganon. And pwede din natin siyang gamitin in um, um, asking permission. You can say, would it be okay if I will borrow your car tonight? Would it be okay if if I will stay here in your place tonight? Or would it be okay if I will stay here in your place for one week? Ganon. You're asking um, permission. Pwede ba? Dito na muna ako, saglit, o ganon. Okay, we will go now to our third modal verb na si should. Ano pa si should? Should is the past tense of shall. Ibig sabihin ng shall is um, it's, it's an obligation. 
So, kailangan mo siyang gawin. And remember that shall is the highest among the three. Kasi, si, si could, kaya niyang gawin. Si would, is gusto niyang gawin. Si shall, is kailangan niyang gawin. It's an obligation or, or a requirement. Okay? So, kailangan niya talagang gawin. Kaya pag sinabi na, I could marry you, ibig sabihin nun, kaya ka niya, pakasalan. Pag sinabi, I would marry you, ibig sabihin nun, pakakasalan kita. Pag sinabi, I should marry you, ibig sabihin nun, kailangan kitang pakasalan. Okay? So, it's an obligation. Kunya, nabuntis mo na yung boyfriend mo, I mean yung girlfriend mo, nabuntis mo, na, nabuntis mo yung girlfriend mo, tapos sasabihin mo, ay, kailangan mo talaga siyang pakasalan kasi, May obligation ka. Obligation mo siyang pakasalan. Okay, another example. You should submit your task on time. So, ibig sabihin nun, kailangan mo siyang ipasa sa saktong oras. So, kailangan ka nun. So, it's an, it's, it's an obligation. Okay? Or another example. You should take your medicine. So, kailangan mo inumin ang iyong gamot. You should be here at 6 o'clock. So, kailangan 6 o'clock andito ka na. Okay? Ganun yung gamit ni should. You can use should when you are giving a strong advice. So, kumbaga, kailangan, kailangan niyang gawin. mag advice ka sa isang tao na, o oh, gawin mo to. Kailangan mo tong gawin talaga. Or for example, uulan. Or makikita mo na medyo uulan. Isasabihin mo, you should bring an umbrella. So, you should do it. You should do your homework. You should take your medicine. Okay, hopefully naintindihan. Okay, review mo na tayo. Si could is kaya mong gawin. I could sing a song. Kaya kong kumanta. Si would is gusto mong gawin. I would sing a song. Kakanta ako. Si should is uh, kailangan mong gawin. Okay? It's an obligation. Kailangan mo siyang gawin. I should sing a song. Okay? So, I think that's all for now. And I hope na natutunan kayo. So, please give me a thumbs up if you do like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be notified if ever I have any uploaded videos. And... Don't forget that English is a language and not the measurement of knowledge. That's all for now and see you in my next video. Bye!